right. So good morning, everyone. Day Trader Rockstar here, and I'm going to do this early morning video on uh, some uh, watch list going into the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, and even probably into next week. Um, we're going to start off with Kroger and a five to se uh, five to seven day pullback. I'm still going to wait for that to 2050 area, 2030 start to scale. And like I said, if we miss this position, you know, yeah, it's something I just want to wait wait on. Feel there's a, a shot, a little shot for, further down here on Kroger. That's not the that's not the really good one. The real good ones that I like today again. Um, started position back into L L uh, L three communication. Uh, defensive aerospace to defense stock and you can see the nice upward channel the last time we got in it, it was just a combination of an over, uh, oversold stochastics and lower trend line it was a really good trade and we took that off and the reason I'm getting back in here is lots of times I'll follow the uh, price level versus the 20 period moving average you know and lots of times when you see a break above the uh, 20 period moving average and you start to see it hold that's when you're you're your uh, trend is going to start. So we actually had a little pullback here, held the 20 and got a bounce off of it. We haven't done that in a while. So the pullback um, into the 20 period moving average seems a little better risk uh, trade right now. So we were inside of a larger channel and I started a position on that, but I would definitely uh, look to add on a break above 73.12. So 73.12 would definitely get me really excited about this. What, re what I really do like about this is the 200 period moving average overhead. And this is, uh, you know, ends up being a target for a stock that goes out six to seven months and not tagging the 200 period moving average and has a quality name behind it. Stochastics could be set up better. I mean, there's nothing we could do on that, on that front. So we're looking at the trend and we're going to see if we can actually hold this 20 period moving average. So we can start to hold this today. I think it's going to be a good setup for a blast up to 75. So I think it's a 73, uh, 12 uh, trigger, 75 target, short term, sh short term move. KMB, a nice reversal, ex-dividend uh, trade yesterday, reversed its gap down, we added to it. So now that I added to it, we're still holding that trend line, um, want to see the follow through. You know, we have a long, long trend line uh, that goes out. Stochastics are in a beautiful uh, beginning of a, a beautiful wedge pattern, which um, you know there is the, the opportunity of a pullback here. So, keeping that in mind, I think this is going to be a great setup. If not exactly yet, we'll see what happens today. That's why I want to put it on today's focus list. Is because if we get a follow through, uh, follow through day on the at, then we're going to break right out of that, and then we'll see a nice reversal and a nice move up. Um, so looking to add on a break of 62.20, 62.20 on KMB. Eastman Kodak is really set up now. I mean, we have a nice uh, positive stochastic divergence. Still waiting on this, but it's getting closer and closer to an explosion. And we'll see if uh, this pattern, this very strong pattern plays out. And this is what I call it, positive stochastic di divergence. Downward... Uh, Downward move in the stochastics, almost pulling back into an oversold level and sideways consolidation, holding the 2050 period moving average. Yesterday we had some volume, and the volume uh, definitely playing out here. Nice little reversal candlestick, sideways consolidation. Everything looks ready for this one. So we get some follow through today. We could easily see the, the volume and the momentum lift on EK. So um, got that on the list. Now there's a couple other ones that I really like. Tata Motors, TTM. Now, TTM, first pullback, again, first pullback to the 50 period moving average. Um, right to the 50 and the stochastics pulling back. So lots of times you see a stock that's a very good trending stock. And the first time that really pulls back, second time, lots of times when it gives you those opportunities, you got to jump on it. It gave you a little opportunity here, but held it, you know, it was a nice little divergence. This was a, a positive stochastic divergence. Pull back in the stochastics, this just continued to move sideways. And from there, we had a nice move. This is really the first move back to the 50 period moving average on Tata Motors. So it's something that, uh, you know, came up on a scan yesterday. So I'm, I'm looking at it today. I don't know if it's, you know, if I'm going to get in or not, but I definitely wanted to bring it to your attention. Clorox. Here's the next one. CLX. 
Um, stochastics have been in kind of uh, in this lower range down here. Trying to push up out of this kind of uh, a very sloppy inverted head and shoulders pattern. We got a little head here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And uh, the follow through, if we get actually, if we do get that follow through of above yesterday's highs, looks good. There's a gap up here, which, uh, and a quality name. So this timing looks good on this. You know, we're pushing up against the 20 again. I kind of like this one a lot. I think it's, a, again, another good risk reward type of uh, scenario. Where we're you know we put in a basing pattern we're right under the 20 and stochastics ev very easily lift off of this and start to break back up on clx um oc is still in play again that was you know that was the bang the table stock off the 20 period moving average and that's a good example of what i'm looking for in lll you know to pop above the uh 20 to pull back to the 20 holding the 20 that's where we took our entry right off the 20 period moving average there and again nice move we've got an upper trend line target up in that 29 level don't get greedy don't hold targets to you know don't hold them too tightly because you you know the market's and definitely and we talked about watching the stochastics in bed before that extreme 90 to 100 line whenever we see the uh, stochastics flatten out in that 70 it usually predicts you know usually uh, foretells of a big move up to really get um you know to finish off that move in the stochastic see it many times talked about it yesterday and we saw the reaction from it so it was like wasn't even you know it wasn't even what was great about this i told you about that two days ago i said look at the stochastics that's that what had me uh pounding the table here we had a flattening the stochastics during this uh candlestick and i said this is a great setup for a big expansion move up here and we had had that uh yesterday so Hopefully we get a little follow through today and we can just take the profits in that. Average white bone. That might be right on the TTM. So my um my Q charts probably are uh didn't give me a correct close on that. So I have to look a little closer on that, but thanks for showing me that. Alright, um, Rovi, R-O-V-I, it's just been a strong stock. Yeah, I want to hold this as a core position. Um, going to continue to fo follow it on a type of pullback. It still looks good. Might have to take it off if we get a nice, ex you know, again, expansion type of breakout. When I mentioned the word expansion breakout, it's a large, large that's a, usually a large candlestick. That's The range of the candlestick is larger than the last 7 to 10 days. So looking for that type of uh, strength to come into R-O-V-I. AIG also um, news out yesterday it was halted so something to watch um, love to get an opportunity on AIG so we're definitely going to keep an eye on AIG today Eastman Kodak um, waste management looking okay um, new target or a new buy trigger 35 target 36 just break above that 20 period move and now we should have a nice move so that's a uh, short term Good your tire upgraded. Whew, nice. Uh, good your tire upgraded. GT. Again, that was a nice wedge pattern. Again, patterns are playing out really well. Everything's working well. Just continue to do what we're doing. Um, try not to reinvent the wheel. Take your good setups when they give you the opportunity. Not really use your stochastics. That's the number one indicator. And the, the timing and get things on uh, you know on your side. So that's it. That's the little video I'm going to send out. I'll get that out sent out to everyone. And uh, let me turn that off right now.